It started with a mistake. London, 1928. Alexander Fleming returns from holiday and finds a petri dish he forgot to clean. It's covered in blue-green mold. But something's off. The bacteria around it? Dead. He names the killer penicillin. But there's a problem. It's unstable, useless in the real world. For now, fast forward to Oxford in 1940. Flory, Chain, and Heatley extract just enough penicillin to test on eight septic mice. The results? The treated ones live. The rest don't. Penicillin works. The race begins. Wartime labs go into overdrive. In Peoria, scientists discover a mold on a cantaloupe, one that makes penicillin 10,000 times faster. Now, deep tank vats churn it out. Hospitals fill. D-Day troops are armed, not just with guns, but with medicine. Deaths from infections plummet, saving millions of lives. History is rewritten. In 1945, Fleming, Flory, and Chain win the Nobel Prize, all because someone forgot to clean a dish.